Good morning. Well, it's been a weird week. Last Wednesday. What the hell is Tico doing? Last Wednesday, um, one of our guys had been sick for a little while and he finally went and got tested. Tested positive uh, the, for COVID and no, another one of our guys went and got tested. He tested positive. And the other guy didn't get tested, but he's sick. We know he has COVID, obviously. So I went and got tested, actually twice. The first time the sample got contaminated, so I had to do it again. Um, but I do not have it. And Saf got tested as well, and she does not have it either. So that's nice, and there goes Tico taking the dump. But it does suck for us, because she had uh, the baby shower this weekend, which I'm under quarantine. This is my quarantine right now. I haven't left the house since last Wednesday. This is my first time. It is Monday right now. No symptoms, nothing. Tested negative. So I came out to the woods. I'm not going into any stores, going to do anything like that. But um, back to my story. Saf went down to our baby shower this weekend. She had to have her dad come pick her up. It was a whole thing. It sucks. But it is what it is. It's over. Now we're waiting for the baby. But I came out here this morning with my good friend, Marilla. I do some kettlebell work since I've worked out in like two weeks. For the, one of the reasons I don't work out the past couple weeks. Hey, no. It's because, hey. Oh. <laughs> last time I tested, or last time I got sick, God. They've been raining a while, so they're all pumped up. Um, last time I got sick was last March. Had a hard workout in the morning. It was right when COVID started coming. Um, but I don't think I would've got sick if I wouldn't have worked out so hard last year. I think I would've been like, I think I would've been infected, but it wouldn't have showed any symptoms or anything, but right when it worked out, man, oh dude, it just like freaking killed me. Like just, from zero to 100. Worked out in the morning, went to lunch, came home, or went to lunch, ate, started getting really tired, and I was, whatever, it was just like, man, I worked out too hard this morning. Came home after work, laid down, started getting cold sweats, had a fever, took a nap, woke up, and it was just, I was done for like a week. Um, and it was, I mean, I mean, everyone's symptoms are different. Mine were, had no energy at all whatsoever. Like even getting to the bathroom was like, it was a freaking chore. Um, but I stayed in bed for four days pretty much straight. And like on the fifth day, I decided to go to my, I wanted to take my dogs out, get fresh air, walk to my picnic table after five days. And that was like the first time where I was like, oh man, this is a, for some people, I guess, other people it's not. But I started seeing like dots and it was like tunnel vision like breath, like I couldn't catch my breath. So I sat down on the pig table, went right back inside. And that freaking night, I sweated my ass off, like hard, harder than I ever did throughout the whole sickness. And the next day I felt like 80, per, not 80%, I'd say about 10, 20% better. And it was like amazing. But I'm rambling. Look at that beautiful sun right there rising. Do some kettlebell swings, some push-ups. Goblet squats. It's actually still cold out, so I had to put gloves on. And this kettlebell is 72 pounds. I mean, I look that big. I love kettlebell swings. This is actually where I come to work out in the summer when it's warm out. It's like sandy over there where my dogs are. 
there's like a little peninsula. So my dogs are like trapped. They can't run anywhere. So I don't really need to keep an eye on them. And it's sand too, so it's like a little beach. I can jump in there and go swimming. For the summer, I say it every summer, I would really like to get in these ponds and like snorkel. There's a bunch of trash and shit in the bottom of these. But they stock trout in here every summer for uh, the DNR does for this like kids fishing thing. But they stock it with like a thousand um, ground trout, I think. And obviously they don't catch them all. So throughout the year, every year, there, I think there's more and more here. Um, trout, which is awesome. No, no. Hey, I'm gonna beat your ass, boy. Beat your ass. Hey, yeah. hey, Saint Light, buddy. No. Oh, oh shit. You guys go play somewhere else. But look at that freaking sun. Well, like I was saying, I'm supposed to be quarantined till May 5th. So I'm going to be coming out here now. I gave myself like four days to see if anything happened. Um, five days. And I did take a test, like I said. Negative. Staff's negative. But, uh, Give some time to like cool down, see if possibly something came up. Nothing came up, I'm clear. So I'm gonna start coming out here every morning, doing a little workout, clearing my head, stretching. But I'm gonna start coming out here every morning with the dogs again. Start uh, tying them up to the truck, or running the lines on the truck again for mushing and dog sledding. Which I'm gonna build one of those this summer. After the little magnolia comes. By the way, they changed the due date to June 9th to June 1st now. So she's wanting to come apparently like sooner. I don't know. Alright. Tico's head around. I can do some kettlebell soon. Well, I'm quarantined. I'll be able to finish my house. So, that'll be nice. Plan on finishing it this week. Nursery, 100% done this week. Which is basically, all the walls are up. Um, I just gotta caulk all the seams and paint it. Oh yeah, fix the ceiling. Put the fan in. So it's getting close, getting there. But it'll be nice. Thank God we didn't plant any vegetables yet or anything because it got really cold last week. All our shit would have died. So it's probably something I'm going to start here this week. It looks like the weather is going to be pretty decent. She's getting the blood going a little bit. Not gonna do anything too crazy.
been a while since it worked out. Almost two weeks now. Right when I kind of, right when my coworkers started kind of getting sick, cut working out. I quit working out. I also quit going to the gym because our gym's starting to fill up a lot more. It's starting to become summer. A lot more people starting to come in. They're moving back up. So, all I'm saying is what I believe in. 100%, if you're sick, stay home. If you're not, go about your life. Showing symptoms, stay home. And uh, nothing comes up with your symptoms, maybe. Maybe it's just a little cold. Then uh, whatever, go, go do, go live life after your symptoms are gone. Or go get a quick uh, COVID test. And make the quick ones too. Where you swab the inside of your nose, don't shove it all the way up in it. You go play with your brother. Please. You're disrupting my workout, Missy. Oh boy, here he comes. She got scared. Covered down. vlog today. Hey, Raven, what the freaking heck? <sighs> but yeah, like I said, this is going to be my little daily vlog today. I'm going to edit this one a little bit because it's a little drawn out long. But, got a lot to do today in the next, till May 5th. I'm just going to freaking hunker down and get everything I got to get done. Which I have a lot to get done. But I can get it done. So. But I'm going to make a couple videos like this throughout this little quarantine. You go, why are you digging? He never digs. <laughs> Learn that. Alright, I'm going to cut this video. Love y'all. I'll keep uploading some videos during this quarantine. Stay healthy, stay safe. If you're sick, stay home. If you have symptoms, stay home maybe for a day. Feel it out. Maybe get tested. Whatever. Life goes on. Make this easier on yourselves. Love y'all.